Welcome back to Essential Wing Chun. I'm Neil Paris, this is Demetrius. We're just going to show you a small technique about when someone covers up. Now usually in Wing Chun, we train and we'll have, find the bridge and then we search our way through the bridge, something like a pat sa or pat da. Right? But the situation changes slightly when the person covers up, whether it be here or here, this sort of shell, which on the surface, if you do the hand on top, please, well, on the surface, you might think, okay, well, I'm just gonna do this or that. It's not that easy. The person might be laying in wait to be able to deliver something. So when I start opening up, he takes his shot. Then maybe he goes back to the shell again. It can be a challenger to deal with, all right? We're not talking about the person where they cover up like this and you could just walk away. Walk away, right? We're talking about an aggressor who's maybe, you know, moving towards you, looking for that way forwards, that way forwards. So you need to act. So when he hovers up like this, there's two main options I'm gonna show you today. One is a pulling type option, or it's like a scooping option. You're cupping the hand here, and you're going around the arm, while moving to the side. Here, cut, move, cut, move. This one's higher on the arm, okay? sort of between the wrist and the mid of the forearm, here. When you get there, punch him in the face, hard. Hashtag hit hard again, yeah? Right, so get there, hit him hard. Bah! Hit him hard so it rocks the structure a little bit more and then you carry on hitting the person, but that's another story. Let's go back to the technique. So one, hit hard, hit hard, hit hard. Next one is we go to the elbow and this time we're rotating him differently. So instead of pulling it, you're pushing it across his body this time, here. So I'm striking, be normal. I'm striking, he gets overloaded, maybe he covers. And here, there's no point to strike in the hand, so I'm gonna open up the line so I can hit through. Once again, he's normal. So I'm striking and he decides he wants to cover up. He covers. I'm already giving him stimuli here. I'm pushing on the arm, I'm striking. You might even push. Now from here, Go to the elbow, so strike, go to the elbow. And once again, you're bringing about rotation and you're opening that line so you can strike. The energy of it works like this. My pressure's going this way and he's defending this force with his arms and with his trunk and legs. Everything is protecting him against that force momentarily. So what do I do? I pull him because he wants to go that way. So I'm striking. He's protecting against this force, and all of a sudden, whoa, have what you want. I'm striking, whoa, whoa, have what you want. I give the person what they want. You've got to be a good listener, right? So, boom, 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 bang, thank you very much. Or, boom, 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 bang, he's really solid now. Maybe I've tried to pull, it didn't go anywhere. Oh, crap, this guy's strong. So now, what direction is he? He's defending against this direction, isn't he? We know, because it's not working. So what do we do then? If we can't pull, we push. So you use the energy, use what you feel as much as what you see. If you've got more distance, if you've got more distance, yeah? Kick, 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 right? Forget trying to get close to do these techniques. Yeah, exactly. Do it again, please, division. Yes, you deserve to eat that punch, yeah? Eat all of it, right? If you're trying to go for this from far, these are close techniques. You're already close, you are in striking range. You just need to open up the angle to continue striking from whichever way. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like, subscribe. Thanks to Demetrius, I'll see you soon.